And last but not least, I'll be giving you the last news part for this newsroom session. Guess, well, by the way, I sh my name is Daniel. And, well, let's, let's just say that I'm a news reporter with a bad hair and uh, street clothes. And I'm in a newsroom, so to speak. Yeah, just work with me. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll be giving the last topic for today. And it'll be about gun laws in New York. Basically, it's, uh, it's the, about, the report today will be about, uh, does New York gun laws violate the Second Amendment of the Constitution? And there's major points that go with um, this uh, this major major issue. Yeah, one of the one of the major issues will be uh, the person that is going against gun laws. Uh, they feel it's a violation to a person's right to wield a gun, whether it's for their protection or to prevent their house from being burglarized. So, basically, they feel like they should have it around all the time. And, um, yeah, pretty much. And another main point from the other side will be that for the person that have four guns will be saying that the gun laws that are put in were basically there for the purpose of protecting and saving lives in America pretty much like the normal laws made in America today um, also yeah I'm basically giving you a skeleton of this thing and then we'll go back to details so um, also then the whole main point in the middle be analyzing both sides will basically be that to the people will be something like some some well I'm speaking on my behalf whatever um well people's people shit um people feel that there shouldn't really be much much strict strictness on gun laws but it should be there pretty much so, um, our example for, uh, a quick example for the people who are against it. Some people use the whole Plexico Burris case for that. Uh, if you don't know who Plexico Burris is, from New York, former New York Giant, wide receiver, NFL, yeah. The whole hoop and nanny, the whole hoop blah blah, uh, basically. There's a whole case surrounding him being in court and being convicted over because he held, he had a gun and the gun was discharged at a nightclub. And pretty much he didn't have a license for that gun. A New York license. He had a Florida license, but he didn't have a New York license. So, it's pretty much people will be disagreeing with that. Like, okay, just because he's has bad behavior and all of a sudden you have to victim like a burglar for three years is because he didn't have a permit for a gun that he couldn't even get in the first place which is kind of stupid but yeah and also another example for people who are for gun laws will probably use a case like the current one current event in uh, New York downtown Binghamton will be some massacre uh, that happened actually this year that uh, involved some uh, Asian gunmen evading some immigration service ser service center and shooting down 13 people to death and actually 37 of the others were basically uh, hiding in fear um, also and basically from that case 
the guy had license for both his guns that he used in the whole shoot down and basically he knew what he was doing had the car in the back walked in like walked in like shaft or blade I should say just without the swords and uh, straight up shot shot up people boom boom pow like that and uh, another example will be for the uh, the middle side will be basically some poll a poll found on CNN talking about people supporting stricter gun lock gun, gun laws. Um, Fifty four percent favored it two thousand one, and all of a sudden in uh, two thousand seven, back then. Uh, it went down to 39%. So that's say how much people really don't really dig gun laws or strict gun laws. But some people still want the laws that are already established. Uh, pretty much. And also, someone could use the how much murder rates in New York would be. Basically, I'll give you the numbers. Starting in 1963, uh, 548, that's the number, and it increased every year. Now, think about that. And then until 1990, bloodiest year, 2,245 murders. Woo! That's a lot. So, and then it went down from there. So, I probably, from the effect of enforcing the gun laws and enforcing and try to uh, stop crime down yeah just for good and it had favorable numbers in 2007 with 494 murders greatly greatly cut down so that's good and well I think I said enough I hope I didn't talk too much hope you can see me since I'm such a black dark kid uh, I like to thank my news my news people people watching this news i like to thank the the crew the news crew you know what i'm saying you know freaking pin all the pins being together helping each other out and uh yeah i will catch y'all later uh peace deuces one love and uh a lot of ice cream cake